very gray. We've had a few snow showers out there too, and we're going to see a similar pattern as we move into tomorrow and Wednesday, though we should at least see slightly better conditions tomorrow. Warmer temperatures too. Not, not necessarily <laughs> extremely warm. Don't expect I, the 60s. I had to bring my coat out again. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, I put my snow pants away. Okay, they didn't go that far, and because I did that, I think that's why the weather changed. Right. Uh, but we are looking at some chilly conditions across the region. Right now, about 30 degrees, 31, 32 degrees overall chilly, but we are still on our way up. Highs will climb into the mid to upper 30s later today. You can still see a couple of snow showers out there, but I do expect them to wind down as we head towards the evening. So just a few out there, really no accumulation or at least no long lived accumulation. Temperatures will be peaking in the mid to upper 30s again this afternoon, but we will keep the clouds across the region until we will see some clearing as we head into tonight. You can see it here on your future cast again. Showers winding down as we head overnight tonight. We get to partly cloudy skies. Unfortunately, without clouds at night during this time of year, it is going to be cold because you don't have clouds to kind of keep in some of the warmth that we gain throughout the day. So it is going to be a chilly start tomorrow morning. Also, a slight chance for a few snow showers, though tomorrow snow will mainly be fo focused north of I-69. So you can see a couple of uh, those snow showers up towards the thumb. A majority of us, though, looking at mostly cloudy skies and some flurries throughout the day. No, again, measurable snow expected. As you get into Wednesday, we have another chance for some light snow showers. We've got this system kind of passing off to our northeast and with the winds out of the northwest, we've got wide open waters across all of our lakes right now, and that leads to some lake effect cloud cover and lake effect snow showers. That's why we're kind of sitting in this pattern. We saw it yesterday and it will be going all the way through early Wednesday before some drier weather finally arrives late in the day on Wednesday and moving into Thursday. Now with the snow chances, you really won't need a shovel, especially tomorrow and Wednesday. We really haven't had to shovel even uh, the last two days thanks to the pavement being warm, but I want you to keep an eye on Friday because you may need to shovel. It's not expected to be a lot of snow, but there's a lot of models starting to agree that we may see a couple inches of some snow. So just keep an eye on Friday storm. We're still many days out from that, so still some things can change. As we head towards this afternoon, though, again, highs mid to upper 30s, a bit breezy. Winds will be out of the west northwest 10 to 20 miles per hour, though lighter than the winds that we've had over the last few days. Tonight, we are back into the mid to upper 20s as you wake up, so it is going to be another chilly start tomorrow morning. But winds change tomorrow. They'll be out of the southwest. That's going to help bring in some warmer temperatures than where we've been, up to about 46 degrees. But we're back down to near 40 as we head into Wednesday and Thursday, and even into the mid-30s for highs on Friday.